Hi, today in my guide I would like to cover a point you might have missed. You, if you open from the campaign view, there is Bond, not James Bond, two hands. And here, basically, when you have a group of generals, normally they are related, you get some bonus. So, for example, I got Justinian and Theodora. I bought her, she's like 35,000 coins silver. And Justinian I bought with medal, 2,300. By the way, one of the best archers of the game, including a fantastic administrator so for conquest, if you notice, I always use it. But the fact that I have both of them, you can see on the right, there are three bonus. If both are rear captain one as a rank, then every round in uh, when you play campaign conquest, you get uh, two items, two units of technology extra. But must be both. If Justinian is general, general three in this case, and Theodora is a lower grade, here she is general. But if Theodora was not a rear captain one, was something lower, then he wouldn't get the bonus. Okay, so that's something important. And you can see that the lock on the bonus, you see a rear captain one is a lock, means you have not unlocked it. In my case, I own a lock, and so I'm benefiting. The second tier, Centurion three, he gets six iron every round. Again, my two general are at their general level, so they got it. And for the same reason, I also get 10 silver every round. So to me, this is the most useful privilege in the, among all the bonds to get the extra resources in battle. <clears throat> so try to get these two general because Justinian is fantastic and Theodora quite useless, but still. Uh, she's very good in administration. See, I boost her a little bit. She has a 77 administration now, and so in Congress I can put her in the city and boost my resource production. And the second pair I strongly recommend is Belisarius and Narcissus. Belisarius, in my view, is the best infantry in the game, and it's free. You get it at the very beginning. See, after a bit of an upgrade from my side, he has now an 86 infantry. I gave him the Beowulf equipment because uh, one of the things I don't like in this game, Belisarium is free, but if you want the Belisarium equipment, you need to pay. It's not available just by playing. You only buy paying. So, not good. And Narces. Narces is my third cavalry general after Richard and Roland. See, this is a decent cavalry. See, he's already 68 with me. And uh, I gave him a Chardemagne that uh, can increase the cavalry capability if you announce. So that will boost it. And again, I upgrade them both to general. And, and by that, I unlock the defense of counter infantry, the damage of counter infantry, and the counter of counter infantry, all increased by 10. <clears throat> Since I have too strong the counter infantry, as in Belisarius and Etius, again, that's a, a benefit uh, pre bonus for me. But most important is because I wanted this general. So this is for me is a byproduct. Then uh, the next groups, you have uh, basically boosting the defense, the attack, and the mobility of the various military types. So for melee infantry, you need to have the English triad, uh, Arthur, his wife, Guinevere, and her lover, Lancelot. To get the naval bonus, which is very rare, so really useless, you need to get these three Vikings, which are quite bad generals. And then to get melee cavalry bonus, you need to get the Arabian trios. Of course, Saladin is a premium general, so you have to pay for that. And then this one I found interesting. Genghis Khan is uh, hopefully would be my my number one archer. Issue is not available for purchase. I am very surprised because before in the beta version it was available after the Mongolian chapter. I suspect that they are associating him with the new game section that has not been published yet. You see here this coming soon. That's the siege mode that is still not be released. Okay. So I'm afraid the Genghis will be linked to that. 
which means very hard for me to get without paying or playing a long time. Otherwise, also Batukan and Jebe are a great general, so and this would allow me to get the range cavalry bonus. Okay, so Genghis Khan would be the best range cavalry general, and so this I would love to have, but I won't. And then the three crusaders. So I got Richard, as you might have noticed, <clears throat> best general in the game. And if I can get Philip and Frederick, then I get my charge cavalry bonus. So this is one I'm, I'm interested. But Frederick, I need to wait for a Komnenos dynasty. And same for Philip. Okay, so I need to wait a little bit to get to the point. And the last is the three Edwards that boost your range infantry bonus, but again, I will not spend all this money for this tree. So, that's it. Hope you found this uh, useful, and by the way, you might have noticed that's the Cognito Dynasty, but for now, those uh, chapters are still locked, so I'm playing now the last one uh, open, House of Normandy, and don't forget, if you click here, hard, you can play all the, the chapters in the hard mode. Thank you, hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe, but also, you might have noticed I started a membership, I'm a small channel, I will appreciate your support, it's a very small monthly fee, and you get a few perks, you can check them out, take care.